hello everyone so from the theoretical perspective we are going to learn what are the thing which we should know so whenever we create a azure storage account so we generally get a four type of the storage services so let us try to understand one by one the first one is the blob storage the first one is the blob storage second one is the file storage third one is the table storage and the fourth one is the queue storage so based on the our requirement we are going to use this all the storage so suppose whenever you have a requirement where you have a data in a unstructured format unstructured format suppose you have a video file suppose you have a audio file txt file any kind of the docs documents and all you are getting so in that kind of the scenario we generally use the blob storage for all the kind of the unstructured data we generally use the blob storage i hope you got about the blob storage use case now let us try to understand the file storage so let us take a example suppose you are working in company you are one team is working in a bangalore you are another team is working in mumbai another team is working in a us location but you are working in a same project so you want to have some share location so that everyone can access the same file so what actually we do we will create a share location and here we will put our all the files so that everyone can access and upload and do the changes in that kind of the scenario we generally use the file storage for the share location we can take a example i hope you got it so table storage we generally use it for the structure kind of the data so suppose you have a requirement where you want to store in a tabular for form so then we generally use the table storage fourth one is the queue storage in a queue storage suppose you have a requirement or for taking example in a paytm right in paytm where the lakhs of the transaction happening at a time or any google pay or any kind of the transaction system we can take so in that kind of scenario what actually we try to do we try to process the data in a queue and so we want to process every file in a queue queue way okay so in that kind of the scenario we generally use it for the queue storage so what actually we do we try to put every file into a queue and we try to process one by one in that kind of the scenario we use a queue storage now let us try to understand more from the account type so you we, we will generally get a uh, three type of the account either you can create a blob storage either you can create a general purpose v1 account v1 and the general purpose v2 account v2 account and the we call it as a general purpose purpose v2 account and blob we generally is for the unstructured data and uh, this is the latest version and even azure also recommend to use this because we have a multiple functionality over here so we will use the general purpose v2 account only now from the access tier perspective what actually we should know let us try to understand so we generally have a three type we have a hot tier second one is the cold tier third one is the rq so whenever you have a requirement where actually you want to access the data frequently frequently if you want to access so in that kind of the scenario we try to store our file into a hot tier cold tier where we have a requirement where we don't want to access data frequently so we will try to store our data in a cold tier archive where we have only rarely we are trying to access our data so we actually try to store our file in a archive so how actually we can create a azure storage account that actually we are going to learn okay once you will log into the portal.azure.com we have to search for the storage search for the storage the storage accounts will come click on that click on the create button we are going to create a storage account click on the create so first we should have a subscription under the subscription we will create a resource group if you haven't created a resource group click on the create new and you can create a resource group under the resource group only we are going to create this storage account so we selected the subscription we have selected the resource group after that we have to give the storage account name as of now i am giving the storage account name as a poc storage like this make sure it should be unique 
after that you have to select the region after that we have to select the performance performance we have a two type standard and the premium standard means it will give the HDD kind of the storage premium is it will give SSD kind of the storage so premium is much more costly as compared to the standard and it is fast also and we have a redundancy that is for the backup and see as of now I am selecting the GRS only click on the next here we are not going to do any changes as of now click on the next 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 and you can review whatever the option you have selected and after that we have to click on the create now you can see the deployment is in progress here we have one option like the notification if you click on the notification you will be able to see all the notification about your uh, account so as of now the deployment is in progress for the storage account that actually is the notification we are getting you can see the deployment is in progress once it will complete uh, our blob storage whatever we have created that will be ready so let's wait it to be completed you can see the deployment is succeed deployment is complete go click on the go to resource this is the overview as of now what we are going to click and do click on this container click on this con container click on the plus container we are going to create one container and we are going to upload a file as of now I am creating one container input container and we can give a access level we, you can give a private privately if you want to access you can give private blob level access you can give or you can give public access also I have given the public access as of now but uh, make sure you give the private and all access just for the testing I am doing that's why I selected the that access click on the input click on the upload search for the file select any file I selected this file click on the upload this is how actually we can upload our file upload is now success now if you want to see this file what you have to do click on this upload uh, this particular file click on the edit click on the preview now you can see this is the particular file I have uploaded and I can see this particular file also so this is very simple now I have given the public access right so if I will click here if I will select this particular URL and if I will open this I will be able to download that particular file you can see this is the particular file which got downloaded because I have given the public access make sure you will give in the private access so that is how actually we can uh, create a storage account we can upload a file